Hi guys, today is a little bit of a different video. I had to film a video today and normally I would have just done a separate video in my studio and tonight I was going out with friends, we're doing a date night and then I thought, why don't I film the process of me getting ready for date night? So that's what I'm gonna do today. So we're going with our friends Bonnie and Joel. Bonnie has been on my channel a couple of times. I adore her and they are like our favorite people to go out to dinner with and so we planned something for this weekend and we are so excited. Bonnie and I both love getting dressed up for date nights. Sometimes we like to get ready together. Tonight we're getting ready on our own, but we both love it. So yeah, I thought I would walk you through my process when I pick my outfits and how I, you know, do my makeup to match my outfits, you know, all the way to picking a fragrance. So let's get started. So first, obviously I need to pick my outfit and I have a couple of options. I think I know what I'm gonna wear, but I'll show you what I'm thinking of, you know? So let's go see what I've got set up. So first, let me show you my outfits. Okay, I know this might seem extra for some people. <laughs> when it comes to date nights, okay, I really love to just make it a really fun process. So first I like to pick what I'm wearing. That way I feel like I can match my makeup a little better. It's harder for me to do my makeup and then wear an outfit unless it's something super neutral. So first I have like a pink and beige thing going on. I have two new pairs of pants. So these are Abercrombie. It's like a really cool faux leather. Um, these were on clearance. If they still have them, I'll link them down below. And then I was at Zara a couple of weeks ago and still haven't worn these, but I'm dying to. They're just really cute wide-legged pants. I'm kind of going in this direction. It's finally starting to warm up here in Utah, but it's still a little bit cold at night. So that's why I'm thinking I might do layers. I'm leaning toward this outfit right here. I had a couple of options. I have a t-shirt option and then a bodysuit sweater, but I'm leaning toward the t-shirt because I like the color of this paired with the shoes that I'm thinking of wearing, which are these right here. See what I mean, guys? Can you tell? I have a, uh, a very clear aesthetic, a very clear favorite color, and I'm really leaning toward this. And then I thought to myself that I could maybe bring just a sweater with me in case I do get cold and if it's warm enough I'll just leave this in the car but I think it would look good layered on top of the t-shirt and then I've got this gray bag this is actually from Rosie Day's boutique which is Casey Holmes boutique I got this forever ago so I don't think it's around anymore and then I've got other bag options right here I have this one from Mango which I love Mango is actually one of my favorite stores right now in general but especially for bags and then I have this one from H&M so I feel like both options are cute I also was thinking of possibly doing a monochromatic look, but because I want to do more layers, I also had this as an option. So, ah, <laughs> here's what we're working with. I think I'm going to try this one on because I have an idea for the makeup. Like, I just want to do something really simple, but maybe something kind of fun on the lips. I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this outfit on and then I'll show you what it looks like on. Okay, so here's a rough draft. Obviously, I still need to do my hair and makeup. I need to cut the tags off of my jeans. But how cute are these wide leg pants? Um, they're new, so I'm gonna link them down below. I think they come in several colors, but I've been dying to wear them. I love this big button right here. I think it's so cute. So I'm gonna obviously cut the tags off. Maybe you can picture what I'm picturing with this sweater if I get cold, you know? Maybe I could tuck it in. Maybe I'll just leave it because it's cropped. And then I could have this crossbody bag. So it's like, you know, a blue, gray, and beige outfit. I don't know. I feel like for me, I like to feel put together, but I also like to feel comfortable, so that's what's important to me right now, especially since we're with some of our best friends. So sometimes I go all out and dress up, but tonight I kind of want to do something in between. I feel like the shoes kind of dress it up, but it's still like a t-shirt, so I feel really comfortable. So I'm actually really happy with this outfit. I think this is what I'm going to end up wearing. So now I'm going to do my hair. I, I want to do like a, a nice slick back bun because we're going out to dinner and I just don't want to worry about my hair. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do my hair. I'll show you guys what I end up doing, but I'm happy with where things are going right now. I didn't even fasten my um, shoes on yet. I just wanted to kind of get the full vibe. So let's go ahead and fix my hair and then we'll go ahead and do makeup. Okay, this is kind of an awkward angle. I am not a vlogger, but I'm just going to show you really quick how I do this hairstyle. So I just start off with my tangle teaser just to get it in kind of a high ponytail. Just like this and then this brush I got on Amazon and it is a game changer for this type of a hairstyle I'll have it linked down below. This one is double-sided I probably didn't need both sides because I mainly use just this one, but this gives you the most incredible Smooth slick back hair if you're into that hairstyle you need a brush like this Okay, so when I've got it as smooth as possible I secure it with just a regular black hairband just like that in a high pony 
and I like to pull it nice and tight. And then I go back in with my brush one more time and just start to kind of smooth those flyaways even more. And then I like to take a hairspray. I'm just gonna use this one. Any hairspray will work. Just to start to kind of smooth that down even more. And then I just twist the ponytail into a little bun. This part doesn't have to be perfect. And I just secured it with my little bungee cord tie. I don't know what that's called, but I'll have a link down below. It's another favorite of mine. This is where we can go back in and smooth those edges again. I always get flyaways underneath my hair, so I'm gonna take a bobby pin and just secure that. And then I like to take this, I don't think they make this anymore, which it's such a bummer because it's so good. The Dry Bar Finishing Spray Wax. It smells amazing. And I just kind of spray that over top. It gives it a really nice shine and a little bit of a hold too. I feel like this kind of a style typically works best on like day two hair. I just washed my hair last night. Well, the camera died, so I had to go get the battery and replace it. Um, but what I was saying was this hairstyle usually works on like day two, three, four, five hair where it's not freshly washed, but I just barely shampooed it last night. So I feel like I had to add a little more product to make it stick down. So it's not as easy. Um, but it'll do. I actually also just put on some necklaces. Um, this one I got in Hawaii and this one was a gift from my mother-in-law. So I think this one's still available. If I can find this one, I'll link it. But this one, I, I don't know if I'll be able to find it for you. And then my earrings, these are my favorite. I just talked about them in my favorites video. I'm obsessed. They're from Teeny Lux and it's a brand that like specializes in earrings for super sensitive ears. And I told you all about it in my favorites video, but I'm wearing those as well. So now, all that's left is makeup. So let's go down to the studio and finish things up. And then we're gonna pick a fragrance as well. Cause I feel like perfume really makes a difference too. It really just completes the whole vibe, you know? So I'll see you guys in a second in my studio. All right, so now I'm in my studio. I have already picked out a few products. I think I know what I wanna do in my head. I told you I want kind of more of a, not bold lip, but the lip is gonna be more of the focal point. So I'm gonna keep everything else really simple, but I want it to look flawless, you know? It's not gonna be an everyday look as far as the quantity of makeup goes. I want it to be a little more so that it just lasts really well and looks airbrushed in person. So that's what's in my mind anyway. I'm just putting on a little bit of Kopari lip balm. My lips felt kind of dry. So I already did my skincare not that long ago. I felt like I wanted to use the NYX Plump Right Back Serum Primer. I just love this and I really feel like it does do something. Like it's hydrating and it's smoothing and it also really helps with the longevity of makeup. So it's kind of the best of all the worlds for me. So I'm just using my hands to apply this. When it comes to date nights, sometimes I like to branch out and try new stuff, but usually I like to go with my tried and true products. So for foundation, I'm gonna stick to my current favorite, the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I wear mine in the shade Mont Blanc. It is phenomenal. I love this so much. So I'm just shaking it up first. I'm gonna do probably two pumps on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush and start to apply the foundation all over using this brush. I really love this brush. I'm gonna kind of buff it in. It's kind of early in the day um, because we made a dinner reservation at one of our favorite restaurants, but it's a little bit of a drive. So I have to really make sure my makeup is gonna last all night, not just through dinner. And then something that's also gonna look good in all types of lighting. So when we get there, it's gonna still be daylight. And then once the light goes down, I feel like makeup looks so good in dim light. So I want it to look good for the whole day basically. And this foundation is just my most reliable right now. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, so I also am gonna just take my sponge and take what's left on the back of my hand and just press that into the skin. I feel like this is such a different style of video for me, but I hope you guys enjoy it. I mean, if you do, let me know so that I can maybe take you along other get ready with me moments. Cause I feel like you only ever see like this up usually and there is kind of a thought process for me where I go through what I feel like I want to wear into like making sure the makeup kind of has a similar vibe. And so, I don't know, maybe someone will find it interesting. Okay, that's looking really, really nice. I'm gonna kind of do something different. I'm gonna take this um, Persona Cosmetics bronzing stick. Usually I do concealer first, but a lot of makeup artists actually apply bronzer or cream contour before concealer because apparently it makes you use a little less concealer. I don't know. I'm in such a habit though of using my concealer first that I feel like I still do that the majority of the time, but I'm gonna 
try this method again. Um, this is in the shade Dune. It's definitely a more warm toned bronzer, but I love how this product blends out. It's really nice. I'm just gonna kind of go down the sides of the nose lightly and then just take a little along the jawline. And I'm just kind of mapping it out right now because I always like to take my foundation brush no matter what contour I'm using and just buff around the edges. I feel like this makes it look so seamless. Okay, I'm just gonna go back in with my sponge and make sure everything is nice and blended. So you can see now that I have bronzer on, it kind of feels like I don't need tons and tons of concealer in certain areas. Um, For concealer, I was originally gonna use the NYX concealer. No, you know, I still will. I'm gonna use this because I just love it so much. This is my Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I'm gonna take a little bit of that on the back of my hand like this, and then I'm gonna take the other side of the e.l.f. Complexion Duo brush and just start to apply this underneath the eyes. I especially love this as under eye concealer, but honestly, it works all over the face. It's so gorgeous. I'm gonna kind of bring it on the sides of the nose a little bit to further sculpt the nose a little because we already have the contour there. And then I'm gonna highlight the chin with this. I'm also gonna highlight the center of the face. For me, I love the center of the face to look airbrushed. <laughs> the outsides of the face can look dewy and really natural. I feel like my skin can shine through on the outsides, but I love this area to look like really good. So that's why I'm spending a little more time on the center of the face, just like canceling out anything I need to or want to, and then highlighting things as well. I'm gonna bring the concealer down the nose a bit. And then I do have a couple blemishes. I'm gonna take the leftover concealer just to further cover those up. And something I don't always do, but it's kind of a fun tip, is if you want more coverage with your concealer, even though it's more of an emollient concealer like this one, just let it sit on the face for a minute before pressing it out with a sponge and it will give you a little more coverage. I'm gonna let it sit for a second, but not too long. I'm gonna let the under eyes sit the longest. So I'm gonna start by blending out the chin and then the blemishes. And then I'm gonna really press in right here. And then I'm gonna move to my forehead and make sure that concealer is super blended. And then I'm gonna move to my nose. And then lastly, I'm gonna blend out the under eye area. After I've blended out my under eye area, I'm kind of taking this sponge and pressing over the cheek area so that it blends into the contour well. I feel like this is fun because I'm showing you what I would actually do. I mean, I always show you what I actually do, but you know, some videos are more for reviews, so I'm kind of limited to a certain amount of products or certain types of products, but in my real life, I love to mix. So today, I really felt like I wanted to mix two powders on my face. So I'm gonna start off with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder in the shade Cupcake. I'm gonna start by applying this underneath the eyes. I'm just gonna first make sure that there's no creasing in the fine lines, and then I'm gonna go straight in with this powder just directly underneath the eye area. I just love how this powder looks underneath the eyes. So I wanna kinda of start with this. I'm gonna make like a little powder barrier right here, but then to help me achieve more of an airbrushed look, I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever setting powder in the shade Vanilla. I'm gonna dump some of this into the cap and then I'm gonna mix in the Huda Beauty powder with that powder, just kind of tapping it into the same cap. And then I'm gonna take that on my favorite powder brush. This is the Morphe and Makeup by Ariel little powder brush. It's the A14 brush, it's amazing. And I'm just gonna start pressing this into the T-zone right here. Both of these powders give a slight coverage. I would say the Makeup Forever one gives a little bit more coverage than the Huda one. So I'm using this to really press the powder into the T-zone. I'm even pressing it on the bridge of the nose. And then I'm just gonna take a fluffier brush to pick up what's left in the cap. And I'm just gonna lightly set the rest of the face with this. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of a powder bronzer onto the skin. I'm gonna take my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer and just add a little bit more warmth and structure to the face. I'm gonna take what's left and just work that along the jawline and then down the neck. And then I'm gonna go back in with the same brush we were using for powder and just go over that one more time to really make sure it blends. Okay, I'm really liking how things are looking. This is usually the time where I go ahead and fill in my brows. So I'm gonna use my Tried and True Benefit Brow Pencil. This one is in the shade gray. So I'm just gonna fill this in really fast and then we'll come back and do a little eye look. Okay, so now that I filled my brows in, I'm just taking a little more powder and pressing it in so that it softens everything. I'm actually gonna do the lip color first. I know that's kind of backwards, but I wanna try out a new-ish lipstick that I bought. I've actually never worn it. I tried it on earlier and really liked the color, so I just wanna test it out. Um, when I was at Walmart the other day, I actually picked up this Revlon Colorstay Overtime 
lipstick. And this one is in the shade um, Unlimited Mulberry. I've heard so many people talk about this. I feel like I've walked by this formula so many times and I can't even tell you if I've tried it or not. I don't think I have. It comes in lots of different colors, but this was one that I heard someone talk about on Instagram. So I wanted to pick it up. I'm gonna first line my lips with Pillow Talk 2 Medium, just to make sure I have a good structure since we applied foundation. So I'm just doing a really soft lip liner using this. And I'm gonna just gently fill in the lips as well, super lightly. And then you're supposed to put the first step, which is the lip color on, and let it dry, and then put the top coat on. It seems like something that's similar-ish to the new Maybelline Vinyl Lips, except for there's not two steps in that. And this is more sheer, but it's the same as far as the concept goes, I feel like. They're both super long wearing or supposed to be. I mean, the vinyl one is, I have a video I'll link down below. I just barely tried those out and wore it for 14 hours and I was very shocked. So I'll have that down below if you wanna watch it. Okay, so that's one layer. I might do a double layer with this. Isn't that a pretty color though? I really liked the more cool tone to it. It kind of reminds me of Pillow Talk. It's, it's kind of in the same family anyway. I would, I'm not saying it's a dupe. I haven't swatched them next to each other. I'm just gonna let that dry for a second before applying a second layer. Okay, I feel like it's pretty dry. So I'm just gonna do a second sheer layer right on top and I'm gonna let that dry. While I wait for that to dry, I'm gonna fill in the hairline a little. Sometimes I like to do this with just an eyeshadow. This is from an old KKW Beauty palette. But I like to find an eyeshadow that matches my hair color and a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I'm just kind of fill in the more sparse areas in the front. I don't always do this, but you know, since we're going out, might as well. So it feels like the lip color is dried down, which means I'm now going to apply the top coat. And it's kind of similar to the Maybelline vinyl ones because it's very sticky. So this is supposed to not take up the color, but it's supposed to give you a glossy and balmy feeling finish so that it doesn't feel sticky all day. And then if the gloss part wears off, you could just reapply this all day. I'm gonna throw this in my bag though and bring it with me and I'll be able to kind of see how it wears throughout the night, which will be fun. All right, let's move to eyes. I'm gonna take a bit of my Too Faced bronzer just start to sculpt a little bit. The eyes are gonna be simple today since I really want the lips to be more of a focal point. I'm just gonna pinch the brush and run that along the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take my Natasha Denona Retro palette and I'm gonna go into the shade Mod. I'm just using the same brush because I'm being a little lazy today. And I'm just gonna apply this all over the lid to create some really soft definition and dimension between the eyelid and the crease. And I'm kind of blending that out toward the edge as well. Now that I'm in this palette, I kind of want to take this shade right here called Psychedelic. I'm gonna use this on my fingertips and just press this on the eyelid right on top of where we just applied that matte color. Just for a little hint of sparkle. Next, I'm gonna take a small brush and yeah, I'm gonna dip into the dark brown in the palette, which is this one right here. I'm gonna dip into this and then spray it with a little setting spray. I'm actually just gonna use a little Fix Plus. And then I'm just gonna create a little bit of a shadow liner just on the top. And I am gonna wing it out more straight and make it really, really soft. And I'm only really starting this halfway across the eye. I'm trying to make it as even as possible, but I think I accidentally made this side a little bit longer. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to make this side a little longer. I still think that works though. And then I'm going to apply some mascara. Let's see. Let's just go in with my trusty Thrive Cosmetics mascara. I'm going to apply this very generously on the top and bottom lashes. Okay, they're gonna be here soon, so <laughs> I'm gonna kind of speed through this last bit because I gotta put my shoes on and everything. Okay, I wanted to try a new blush I picked up. I got a Makeup by Mario blush, and this is in the shade Poppy Pink. I've been wanting this for a long time, and I just barely saw that Makeup by Ariel used this on Kim Kardashian at the Oscars, so I was like, I wanna try it. So I bought it. I didn't even wait for the Sephora savings event or whatever, cause I couldn't wait. So I'm going to try it now. Might be a little bit too bright for this look, but I am a blush girl. So I'm gonna keep layering this on. I'm gonna kind of blend it in though with my powder brush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set the face. I think I wanna use my Benefit Professional Setter. First, we gotta make sure everything is good. The bronzer, I'm assessing the situation quickly. Now I'm gonna spray the Benefit Setting Spray. Kind of let that sink in. And then I'm gonna press everything down with my sponge. I always like to take a tiny bit more powder. This one's just the Huda Beauty. And just repowder the T-zone. After setting spray, I feel like that helps with my personal T-zone, not get oily throughout the day. For highlight, I'm gonna use my Say Beauty Star Glow Highlighter. I'm just gonna put a little on the back of my hand and pick it up with my sponge. 
and then just gently stamp this into the high points of the face. Look how pretty that is. I'm gonna go on the forehead a bit, down the center of the nose and above the brow. And then last but not least, I'm gonna set my brows using my Benefit Clear Brow Gel. Okay, so now all that's left is to pick out a fragrance and then put my shoes on and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so here are some of my fragrances. I'm really leaning toward this for tonight because it's just, it's so good. I love it so much. This is Replica by The Fireplace and it's like a unisex fragrance. I love when things are a little bit more on the masculine side, but this is still fresh smelling. So I think I'm gonna pair this one with what I'm wearing. I don't know, it just feels like evening. Um, this is definitely a little bit more of like a fall and winter fragrance, but since it's a little chilly outside, I'm gonna make it work. So I'm gonna apply this. Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna put my bag together. I always take this in my purse. It's my favorite. So it's great for a mirror and also for touch-ups. I'm gonna bring my lip color and then a Tide to go pen in case I spill anything. Okay, so hopefully the lighting is okay in here, but here's the final look. I've got my bag. I've got my sweater, of course, that I'm bringing with me and then the makeup. I think it all works really well together. I'm excited about this whole fit. So let me show you guys what this makeup looks like in natural light and then maybe I'll give you a little sneak peek of our date. Okay, so I'm right next to a window so you can see how everything looks. I really love the pinky tones. I think the eye is nice and simple, but the sparkle adds a little something something. So I wanted to show you that. I'm so excited. Are you excited, Ty? Wow, sweetie, you look nice. No, this yes. is just regular uh, uniform. Yeah. My uniform. This uniform. North Face. Our heart. We're waiting for them to come pick us up because we like to drive together so we can chat for longer, especially since the restaurant is a bit of a drive. So yeah, um, maybe I'll show you some sneak peeks. Well, you guys, I'm gonna film my outro here as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's something a little bit different for me, but I hope you had fun seeing kind of my thought process when I'm getting ready to go somewhere. I know it's more of a casual dinner date, but those are my favorites. Thanks for coming along for the ride. So if you're new here, I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. Have an amazing day, you guys, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.